Hey guys, what is going on? My name is DK and you're watching Phenomenal Creations and this is another very exciting video effect tutorial. Hope you're excited because we're doing something pretty excited over here and we're gonna kick in with another effect which is pretty requested. It's real simple and easy but it's super effective if used right. So I'm talking of course about the inspirational um, snap zooms, those really fast zooms you can do from point A to point B if they're of a really far distance and it will happen super fast, super motion blur, super like VFX like, it's super cool. So that's what we're gonna do today, so let's go ahead and check out how the final result is looking like and then we jump into the program that God himself created, Adobe After Effects. If you want the light to be in your life, then you need to stand where it's shining. Hey beautiful people of the universe, welcome to Adobe After Effects and today we're gonna go ahead and create this very cool snap zoom effect. So it's super easy and super cool and super simple. So. Let's not waste any more time, let's just jump in and let's go create this very cool snap zoom effect. Alright, so the first thing to do is to take one of your shots and remember you need, for my method, you need to uh, record two shots. One wide shot, like um, recording, no, let's go back to the wide shot, I want to see the wide shot. So, um, where you, where you see your actor and for example swinging her head, hair, whatever and then you have a close shot of that similar but that's like the point B so there's a million ways how you can do this effect I just use this because I think this is the most um, the most effective so let's go ahead and take my wide shot and just drag it to a new composition button and then let's go ahead and start the comp where I want for example right there when she flips her hair so let's go ahead and drag this so she flips her hair there because I want the transition to happen there so hit B on your keyboard to trim your comp there and then when she has turned in and a few seconds afterwards because we need the other clip too and then we go ahead and trim comp to work area alright so we don't have to mess with huge compositions so it's all nice and clean and tight all right then let's go ahead and drag our close shot on top of our wide shot and then let's go ahead and find the point where she flips her hair it's somewhere around there yeah there so there I want it to start so let's go ahead and hit command shift D or control shift D to split the layer because I want it to start there like this and then let's find where she flips here some right there now let's go ahead and drag this one there so it's almost like a, a normal video edit just before she turns we have this nice continuing shot but now we need the zoom right okay so let's go ahead and create a zoom uh, the first thing to do we have to find the point where we want the zooming to start so I usually go for like five six frames before the next shot starts like here and then let's duplicate the wide shot and let's trim it right here with command shift D control shift D and then we trim it over here too so we just have this small portion of footage and why we have this small separate footage is because then we can easily uh, like um, change the parameters and effects so we don't have to put everything on one layer it's one uh, small controllable layer that's I think a bit more convenient so the thing to do here is now to move this wide shot on top of the close shot uh, we can also rename it to zoom effects Let's keep us organized 
and then let's hit S on your keyboard for scale properties and shift P like peanut for positions uh, properties and if you use the shift key you can take multiple so you don't have to use either one and then you just uh, go ahead and put the stopwatch for both of them and go till the end one frame before right there and then let's go ahead and scale this up like this and I'll position it somewhere around here okay so we don't want it to perfectly match the size and position of uh, the, the final clip it comes to that we don't want because it's still zooming in when the other clip starts so it looks weird if, if it zooms here to the correct size than when this continues that just looks weird so okay so now we got this looks a bit weird but we're getting there next to do let's go ahead and let's make it a bit faster let's go ahead and change select these put it like two frames apart just like all right okay you can make much out of it because it doesn't have any motion blur and that's one of the key points here so let's make it let's go ahead and select the motion blur box there let's enable that and let's enable to the whole comp and this will add motion blur to your um, your video clip like this okay it's a bit smoother now but we're not completed there yet so then also what we need to do is because it's the motion blur is also working as a transition so it stop the motion blur stops here but it needs to continue and then it needs to end on this clip so let's go ahead and first work with this one and take on and find from effects and presets radial blur and take the normal radial blur not the CC one take the normal one because the CC is creating this kind of distorted look in the corners but if you want that you can have it that's like not an issue let's go ahead and put the type to zoom find the zoom point somewhere right there and just like increase the amount something like 60 something like that and let's go ahead and click on amount stopwatch so let's animate it hit you on your keyboard so you can see the keyframes go something like five frames forward and put it back to zero so we got this just a uh, smooth transition to the end like this okay let's do the same thing on top of the zoom effects let's put the radial blur over there and let's go ahead back here and change the zoom and have the zoom coming the center from about this approximately the same point when we have in the, the later clip and let's pump up the intensity okay then that's pretty good and then hit amount and hit you on your keyboard to add that keyframe also let's go a few frames back there and hit it to zero or like 20 like this and let's see what we have here okay so right now we have a pretty cool effect right here this works excellently good and I love this a lot but what you what you can do if you want if you if it's not smooth enough what you can do is you can go ahead and go to the opacity settings let's hit U again and hit click shift T to get our opacity and take it from here to there like um, from 100 to 0 just like this and move this one frame forward so we get this small opacity change if you want it there you have it so it looks something like this okay guys so that's it this was almost like a VFX quickie really cool really simple really fast to do and the cool thing with this effect you can also do if you have a really long distance this will also work so that's the really cool thing about this you can make it really dynamic really cool and if you want to make it more sci-fi you can add some more distortions and everything my uh, uh, footage is not maybe the most perfect example 
um, because when this zooms in, you can see the sun is zooming in also. And then we have like when the close up, the sun is all out again far away. So if you're indoors and doing something like in Twilight, they were shown when Bella was focusing on macro objects and everything. Depends on how you uh, composite uh, when you're filming. That also makes a big difference. Okay, so now when we have created this, now let's see what we have created. If you want the light to be in your life, then you need to stand where it's shining. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video project. If you did like it, feel free to smash that like button just below this video. Like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Don't forget to leave any kind of comment that way you suggest on a future project or just tell what you think of this one. And if you're feeling free and if you're feeling like you want to see more project, click over box over here and here and you can see some pretty cool stuff. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name is VK and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.